Tired of the noises, woman hammers down her wall to find its source and gets the surprise of a lifetime. The cries were faint but one could hear it if the room was silent. The lady of the house had now been hearing the sounds for quite a few days. She was curious about what was making those sounds and where did it come from. No one except her in the house had ever heard the noises. Was she hallucinating or was it real? She could only know if she found out the source. When she finally did, what she found out left her baffled. This was the least she was expecting but she was happy that she did find out. It was a quiet and peaceful household with children playing and their mom looking after the house. It was a winter morning that it first happened and then kept on going until the lady of the house decided to have a look. She had ignored it for days now but it was getting difficult for her to let it go unnoticed. The sound seemed to be of someone crying but who was it? The mother strained to listen closely but the sound was not loud enough to make out the source. The lady kept ignoring against her instincts but it had now gone too far. She had to find out what it was. The lady of the house was sure that someone somewhere needed help and the cries that she was hearing was a distress call. She was now confident that she would help. She started hearing the cries closely and it was only time when she came to know where it was coming from. At the beginning of these incidents, the mother thought that it was her kids. Whenever she would return home these cries would make her run to check on her children. But soon she found out that it was not her kids but something else. If it was not her kids, then who was making these distress calls? She was not able to pinpoint the sound's origin but she kept listening closely to find it out. She had been listening closely but it was not clear enough. She again thought that she was imagining which now seemed like a possibility as she couldn't gather the proof. She also had on mind that her kids might be doing to this to scare her. It had been a long day at work and she felt tired. She had taken her mind away from those sounds as she now was sure that it was her imagination. She went into the kitchen to prepare dinner when she heard it again. These were not children crying but something else. The pitch this time was high and she could slowly follow the sound to find its origin. The sounds were now heard at regular intervals. The crying was closer than she thought and she was now confident enough to discover what and where was this call coming from. She hoped there would be no danger for her and her kids. The sound grew louder and she started her search with the rooms. The room where these sounds were hearable. When the intensity grew she was worried if something needed immediate attention and help. Because every time she was in the kitchen the sounds were loud after she finished searching the kitchen she moved to the room adjacent to the kitchen. She could not find anything in the room and suddenly the crying had stopped. She was now worried if something had happened to the mysterious creatures making the sounds. She tried to listen closely but could hear nothing. She was disheartened and thought that only if she would have acted earlier she could have saved them. She sat on the bed thinking of what could have happened to them. When she got up to go back to the kitchen she heard it again. She ran straight towards where she thought the sounds were erupting. She ran upstairs and as she came closer the crying increased. She was finally in a room. She was panting when she reached the living room. Her kids stared at her with shock. What was that made her mom run directly into the room and why was she running? Her mind was full of thought. I need to do something, she told to herself. The TV hung on the wall left to where the sound was coming from. The lady had to be certain before taking any decision otherwise she would be making a huge mistake. She would be wasting time searching the wrong place and something unwelcoming could happen to the creatures by then. She looked at her children and thought that if the cries were coming from this room they must have heard it. She turned to them and asked, did you hear something? The kids were utterly confused and looked at their mother baffled. The mother asked the kids to listen closely and prompt her when they hear something like a cry. They did as they were asked and tried to locate a sound like that but all they could hear was pure silence. The mother was disturbed. She racked her brain to find out the source but she couldn't. Her kids gave her a funny look but she was not satisfied. After such clear evidence, she was not ready to believe that she had been imagining this whole time. After this strange behavior of their mom, the children were too scared to stay in the living room. As they came out to go back to their room the sound came again. There, did you hear it now? This time they did. They ran back to the wall where their mother was pointing out the previous time to have a closer look. Now they were close enough to hear the cries. Dot they were assured that it was coming from behind the wall and something was behind it. Something that had been trapped behind the walls for so many days but they were not sure of what it was. The cries grew louder and the lady couldn't wait to help. The lady was now sure of what to do. 
It was important for her to liberate whatever that has been trapped within these walls. She was worried about whatever it was. How many days has it been stuck there? What was it? And how would she be able to rescue it? Several questions bombarded her brain while she thought of ways to carry out the rescue operation. She was finally ready with a plan. She asked one of her kids to go and get a hammer. All this time she was thinking of what could be trapped and how did it reach there. She was also worried about what could happen if whatever it is turns out to be dangerous. Was trying to rescue without knowing what it was a wrong decision. But this thought did not let her deter from her decision of going ahead. Before she was ready to break in she had to make sure that the strike was not close enough to the sound's origin as it could hit whatever that was stuck. She also had to find the weak spot on the wall to make it easy to break into it. She did it by knocking lightly into the wall. The lighter knocks determined places that she would strike hard and break the concrete. She finally started striking the wall with the hammer. The source of the sound was on the other side. Her knock gradually turned hard from gentle and she was able to make a hole in the wall. It was not enough for her hands to enter and grab whatever was inside so she kept hitting until the hole was big enough for her to let her hands inside. She kept hammering until she had broken a hole big and deep enough for her hand to enter it. The cries now grew louder and she was sure that she had hit the spot. She could not waste any time. She put the hammer aside and put her hand inside the hole. She kept going inside until she almost elbow deep in the hole. She felt a little tunnel. When her hands entered the tunnel she felt something that left her shocked. She felt something, grabbed it and pulled it out. Against her expectations, it was only drywall and dirt in her hands. Cement had left the walls because of her strikes and it was getting difficult for her to go deeper. But as she went ahead the cries became clearer and louder. She was on the right path. Hearing the loud cries she was sure that she was on the right way and let her hands dig even deeper into the hole. She continued clearing the way while she was unaware of what she would hold at the end of the small tunnel. But she did find out, soon. She touched something. Something fuzzy and small. She thought it was insulation in the wall and only when she was about to go ahead she felt it move. It was no insulation but something living. She held it softly and tried to pull it out without hurting the little being. When she pulled it out she was surprised and happy to see the little kitten she had rescued. She was a little ball of fur. It was beautiful in white fur and looked very alive. She wondered how it entered the wall but now was not the time to waste on thinking. She had an important mission to accomplish. The lady realized that the white little kitten was not alone and she had more beauties like it to rescue. She came to know this when she kept hearing cries from within the wall when she was admiring the kitten in her hands. She put the little kitten on the floor and returned to the rescue of the other kittens. She entered the hole but before she could find the second kitty she had to pile a lot of dirt in her living room. She was also removing the dirt to stir a safe passage for the other kittens. She did not want to hurt the little ones while trying to pull them out. Then she felt something roaming around the wall inside. She grabbed the second kitty and exclaimed, here comes another one. Her children were eagerly waiting for her to pull it out. She slowly pulled her hands out of the wall making sure the kitten isn't hurt and had a look at the little gray kitten. It was so vibrant but she had no time to waste in admiring as another one waited for her. Get me a basket tub, she asked her kid. He ran to get one. She knew there were more of them who needed to be rescued but she would need some help. Then she called out, Aunt Dottie. Come help me. She waited for a few moments for Aunt Dottie to arrive but she took some time. She waited for another minute but the cries from within the wall were calling for help desperately and she couldn't wait. She went inside again and kept ripping the hole to go deeper and moved her hands slowly to locate another one. And she did find another one. She had already rescued two kittens and had her hands on the third. She was wondering how many more were there. Her heart was beating fast. She wanted to know if every one of them was safe and alive. She would do anything to make sure that each of them is rescued while she struggled to pull out the third kitten from behind the wall. When the third kitten was brought out, the lady looked at it and it was black and white. The most beautiful of the lot. The mother was now really happy that she decided to follow the sound and rescue the kittens. She placed the kitten in the tub and then went on to find out if there were more. The lady was utterly surprised to know that these kittens were living inside her wall and how did they come here. She was also surprised to know how these little ones survived without their mother for these many days. She was also thinking about how many more were stuck in the narrow walls. 
she stuck her arms inside the hole to find if any more kittens were there. And yes, there were. She held the fourth kitten and softly pulled it out of the hole and put it in the tub. Aunt Dottie was now there and she was surprised to see the state of the living room with all the kittens playing in the tub. They now had four healthy little kittens in their drawing room. The happiest note was that all of them were alive and looked healthy. They must have been hungry though and the lady of the house turned to the kitchen to go and get them something to drink. These little kittens must be missing their mommy and they hoped she would turn up looking for them. Oh, you're scrawny, exclaimed Aunt Dottie. Oh. So lightweight, she said. Come on kitty, kitty, kitty. She seemed to be the happiest to see the kittens. She was busy playing with them and patting them softly. The kittens seemed to enjoy the company of Aunt Dottie as they were as playful as she was. The whole scene of the rescue was being documented by someone who then goes to help the lady with pulling out the last kitten from the hole and keeping it safely into the tub. This is the portion where the video went blank but most of it was recorded and spread like a wildfire on social media. Wanna have a look? Follow the link at the end of the article. The lady finally came to know how the kittens reached inside the wall. Mother cats generally choose a very dry and dark place to give birth to kittens to keep them safe. This mother seemed very concerned about her kitten's safety and choose the best wall to bring the little ones to the world. The lady was now really happy. She had been looking for the source of the cries for days and but she couldn't find. When she finally did, she was satisfied to know that it proved life-saving for the kittens. She was proud of herself to have found these kittens and saved their lives. All four kittens were vibrant and happy. The kids were having a great time playing with them and they after drinking the milk brought for them by the rescuer seemed to be in a happy mood as well. The lady now expected that soon the mother would come looking for her kittens and would be really happy after finding them safe.